CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 176 through 180 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 176 A company wants to authenticate the sender of incoming emails to prevent spoofing and phishing attacks. Which type of DNS record is used for this purpose? The answer is a TXT. A TXT record in DNS can store text-based information including email authentication mechanisms such as SPF, Sender Policy Framework, DKIM, Domain Keys Identified Mail, and DMARC, Domain-Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and Conformance. These mechanisms help verify that an email originates from an authorized mail server, reducing spam and phishing risks. Question 177. Which of the following is primarily used to isolate and segment cloud resources within a public cloud environment? The answer is D. VPC. A VPC or virtual private cloud is a logically isolated network within a public cloud provider's infrastructure. It allows users to segment and manage compute resources securely defining submits, routing policies, and access controls. This segmentation enhances security and performance by controlling how different cloud resources interact within a single cloud account. Question 178. Which of the following values is reduced with each hop when measuring the number of routers between two locations? The answer is D. TTL. TTL, short for time to live, is a field in an IP packet header that is decremented by one each time the packet passes through a router. This mechanism prevents packets from endlessly circulating in case of routing loops. When the TTL value reaches zero, the router discards the packet and sends an ICMP time exceeded message back to the sender. Question 179. A remote worker is experiencing frequent disconnections and slow internet speeds while using Wi-Fi in their home office. A network technician remotely checks the received signal strength indicator on the user's device and finds it is negative 85 decibel milliwatts. Which of the following best explains the issue? The answer is A. The RSSI value indicates a weak signal. RSSI, or Received Signal Strength Indicator, measures the power level of a Wi-Fi signal at a receiving device with values represented in negative decibel milliwatts. A strong Wi-Fi signal typically falls between negative 30 decibel milliwatts to negative 65 decibel milliwatts, while anything less than negative 80 decibel milliwatts would be considered a poor connection, leading to connection drops, slow speeds, and unreliable performance. Question 180. Which of the following traffic types does a DHCP discover request from a workstation use? The answer is A. Broadcast. When a device first connects to a network and needs an IP address, it sends a DHCP discover message to locate a DHCP server. Since the device does not yet have an IP address, the request is sent as a broadcast to all devices on the local network. This ensures the DACP server receives the request and can respond with an offer. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.